Hey guys, in this video on ICT Basics, I want to discuss the 15 minute time frame and why it is the day traders, I would say, the, the day traders most useful time frame. Uh, Michael thinks so and why I, th I think so as well. So the 15 minute time frame is, in my opinion, and Michael Huddleston I think would agree with this, he says that it's sort of his most preferred time frame although of course I cycle through all of the time frames guys that's not to say that um, they're they're all useful but anything from a day trading perspective that is above 15 minutes so 30 minutes one hour two hour three hours and four hours you're starting to look at higher higher time frame draws on liquidity so things that might take a few hours to play out or even days um, everything below 15 minutes say 10 minutes and below you're really looking at a um, like a refining an entry, you're not really looking at a higher time frame draw on liquidity. So the 15 minute time frame is that balance between refining an entry versus a higher time frame draw on liquidity. So for example, we go up to the 30 minute chart here on the NASDAQ, we see that we have a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, right? That's also an ICT high, low, higher, high. That's also an ICT uh, bearish breaker. So by the way, it's also balanced price range and it's also a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency inverted if price gets up there. So it's many things. Um, but the 15 minute time frame is really a good balance. It's a it's a fulcrum or a good a good transition point between a lower time frame where you're refining your entry to a higher time frame where you're looking for your bigger draws on liquidity, like for example, sell side liquidity. Uh, below 15,547, you would see that on a 30 minute and above. You see buy side liquidity at 718.50. You see that big sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency on the 30 minute chart. Uh, we go up to our daily chart, right? The daily chart, you know, you see your big, your big draws on liquidity, like your daily buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency below current market price, right? You see your kind of your big time frame ideas. The 30 minute and above is sort of your, you know, this should take a few hours. This might take a couple, this might take a session, you know, your session goals. 10 minute and below is really refining an entry. So I would say, guys, if you are looking for for the optimal time frame that's striking a balance between higher time frame draws and liquidity versus lower time frame entry refinement, I think that you're, the time frame you should spend a lot of time with is this 15 minute, okay? It's just my opinion, Michael agrees. If I only had one time frame that I could work with, and that this is what Inner Circle Trader says as well, I would go with the 15 minute. It's gonna show you enough market structure, enough uh, enough for you to like get a picture of where what price should be doing. Uh, but at the, you know, at the same time, I think, I think yeah, it's basically like your, your default time frame, I would say. One hour time frame is also really good, but but it, you know you're trading purely on the one hour time frame. You're talking about things could take whole sessions, days. So I would say for a, for a day trader, 15 minutes. All right, guys, this has been a discussion ICT basics. Um, why the 15 minute is the day trader's friend. Bye bye.